Here we are. Get Introducing. First. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the red corner. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-time gold medalist from Flint, Michigan, a three-weight division world champion and an undisputed women's 154-pound champion of the world, Clarissa Shields. Fighting out of the blue corner from Chicago, Illinois, here is a women's two-weight division world champion and an undisputed women's welterweight champion of the world, Jessica McKeskill. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. Todd, all I can say, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. They ring the bell, and here we go. That uppercut doesn't land. Just missing with the uppercut. Good counter shot by her. Well, I hope you brought your sunscreen. You're going to need it as we have our main event underneath the bright, sunny skies. In such heat, the cornermen need to be able to do their job. Think about what they do. Want to cool you down. Want to ice your back. Want to give you instructions in your head. And want to just calm you to tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Because that's the most important thing. Forget about the heat. Forget about everything else. Perfect counter shot. Missing with the hook. Missing with the hook. They both want to knock out, you can tell. You'd like to see more jabs. Haskell just got caught. She's in trouble. <laughs> just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Shields in that last round. It has not been going well for her, and you can see the corner is starting to get a little more animated. They've got to inspire her. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Change your angles. Go out there. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Every time they throw a shot, they get counter. She got clipped by that counter. When you're fighting a counter punch, the faint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're gonna punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch. Oh, McCaskill might get knocked out! <laughs> Jessica McCaskill is down! And as we see it again, there's no way to get up when you get clipped with a shot like that. That's lights out right there. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. She's back up at her feet, but she's going to want to play defense for the rest of this round. Well, now we oh, we rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is now. And it appears. 
as they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. That big hook doesn't land. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. Let's talk about the Casco in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Change your angles, go out. And there's the bell to start the round. So she's back in her corner, Johnny, but you got to believe this is just a calm before the next storm. Her opponent is going to swarm her again as soon as that bell rings. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Kind of shot by her. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. That counter shot lands. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. We rarely see McCasker hurt, but she is here. exchanges from both women in this round. Disaster averted. Bing Days now needs to stay in. What a shot! Down goes Jessica! I think that will look even more dramatic in slow motion. I need to see that again. She's back up, but what does she have to do to get back into this fight? Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? Casper stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. Casco in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. To make or break a fighter. We're going to have to jump all over her. Nate is gone. Benito kaput. Change your angles. Go out there. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Johnny. She just got dropped in that last round. Got to change something in the game plan here to turn this around. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation for how you are going to deal with this. This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you, and usually... Oh, we rarely see McCasco hurt, but she is now. The we rarely see McCasco hurt, but she is here. I thought we were going to see McCasco might get knocked out. Oh, McCasco just got caught. She's in trouble. And it appears they're out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything. McCaskill stumbling backwards. She's in real trouble. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going. Oh, McCaskill just got caught. She's in trouble. 
And wisely, they're going to take a knee here. No choice but to do that. That must really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about shields in that last round. As bad as boxing judging could be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so, so easy. Benito Caput. Change your angles. Go out there. They ring the bell, and here we go. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Well, my motto is, if it's not broken, I change it. An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won the game down. Just missed with that jab. Not a lot of punch out, but I thought there might be more action here. Nice defense with that jab. Oh, McCaskill might get knocked out. And they figure out the combination to this six. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. What caught Sweet on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do they do? What do they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? being thrown to the wind. This is a high-octane battle. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about shields in that last round. Well, let's see what the corner has to say. She needs some sort of inspiration, a different game plan, something to turn this thing around. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Change your angles. Go out there. Finish it. And there's the bell to start the round. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Those counter punches. That jab just missed with the left hand. shot by her. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shot off. And they forget, you can bang too. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that much above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. That hook just can't find the target. That jab misses. This 
round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about shields in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up the ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Change your angles. Go out there and finish it. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've got one minute to recover now. They've got to block it. They've got to block it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. One of the best attributes. Clarissa Shields is in trouble. Slow motion, let's take another look. Where did that come from? What a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come to me. She gets back up. The referee taking a good look at her. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Pretty good start the first half of this round. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T. Play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. This fighter expending a lot of energy in this round. Do you believe this? Swinging big and missing big with that hook. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Shields in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Mitch is gone. Pulito kaput. Change your angles. Go out there. Finish it. And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes. Oh, we rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is now. We rarely see McCaskill hurt, but she is here. Somehow weathered the storm. Step back, compose yourself, compose the pace, then move, then step it up a little bit. Because if you're getting caught like that at the beginning, you get caught a lot more at the end. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with something that's bigger. Larissa Shields just got clipped. <laughs> nice work, but she couldn't finish the job. Clarissa Shields is in trouble. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back. Steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back in. Marissa Shields just got clipped. <laughs> you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And a mild up 
set. We have a draw here. What a fight. What a battle. I'm exhausted watching it myself. And you know what? I'm happy it's a draw because nobody deserved to lose and nobody deserved to win. These guys put it on the line.